pace car is ready to pull off. And Norm's used car Mustang heads to the infield. The green flag waves. The rest of the point leads him into turn one. Josh Hall to the outside. She's able to clear him out of two. He's going to leave it in the high groove. Nicole Benincasa, she's already fighting for that third spot. She'll snag that from Colby Cox. She's looking for more down the front stretch. She's battling for second already. Lap one goes to Marissa LaPlante, but on the move is the 41 of Nicole Benincasa. Cole Bennett's following close. He's already up into third. The point high out of four. It's a little tight, pushes up. Nicole Benincasa capitalizes. She goes low into one, takes the lead out of two. She is the new leader. Cole Bennett will follow. He's now in second. The point back to third. Took them three laps to go from fifth and seventh to first and second. These two are fast tonight. Bennett with a little wiggle, just grabs a handful of steering wheel and goes with it. Unable to really make any grounds on that 41. Halfway down, we're still Nicole Benincasa, Cole Bennett, Marissa LaPointe, Colby Cox, Josh Hall, Taylor Lane, Garrett McKee. Taylor Lane with a new look. Looks like some old recycled Max Row panels. She had a pretty rough hit a couple weeks back. Four to go, it's still Cole Bennett trying everything he can. Now three to go. These guys still running 17-5, 17-6s. Seven, eight laps into the run. That's pretty quick. Two to go this time by. Action mid-pack. Colby Cox, Josh Hall, Taylor Lane. They're mixing it up. They're fighting for that fourth and fifth position. White flag waves. Looks like Taylor Lane will get that spot from Colby Cox. Looks like Josh Hall tries to follow. He'll sneak into the top five. Out of turn four, the 41 to Coleman and Cassie. She's going to be your first team winner, followed by Coleman Nett, the 96. Marissa LaPointe, the 11. Taylor Lane. Used cars, Josh Mustang Hall. pulls off. Green flag waves. Decker and Hayes into turn one. Advantage Hayes in. Looks like he's going to keep that advantage on the exit. Oh, he's loose. Hayes loses it. He spins around by himself. Everyone woes it up perfectly. Looks like at the very end, Harding got a little loop. No Golden contact. Star pace car off the track. Green flag waves. Side by side into turn one. Dead heat out of turn two. The top two cars have put about a five car length advantage between them in third and fourth. Good rotation out of both on exit. Give the advantage to Jet Decker. Dead heat through third and one though. Decker's rolling the bottom well. He's got him to the back tire. See if he can clear him in the center of three and four. And Jet gets the job done. He clears Ryan Hayes. It looks like the field now falls through single file. Decker first, Hayes second, Burgess third. Harding up to fourth. Top two just extending their advantage. Four tenths a lap right now over third place. These guys are flying and they're still two tenths off what they were doing earlier today. Hayes looks high out of four. Tries to get a big run through one, can't get it done. Coming to the halfway point. 
Decker. Hayes harding up the outside. He's your new third place car. Burgess back to fourth. Brendo finding his groove. He's getting in a nice rhythm. But up front, it is all Decker and Hayes. Hayes looking for anywhere he can go to get speed on that old one car. Just can't quite find it. Looks high in the three, looks to cross him through the center. Almost gets there, but can't quite. Looks high into one. Gonna cross through the center. Looks low out of two, but Jet just too fast. Two to go this time for Decker. They're battling for fourth, but the fight is still for that lead. Hayes trying every crossover he can find. White flag waves for Decker. Hayes has one more shot at this. See if he can get it done. He looks high on the back stretch. Looks high in the three, tries to cross in the center. Just not enough. Give the heat win to Decker. Hey, second, Hardy third. Burgess holds on for fourth, Prindle fifth, and Andy Cahurl sixth. The green flag's waving. We have 300 horsepower worth of cars heading off into turn one. Nobody with the advantage out of turn two. Benacasa and Bennett continue their battle from the heat race right here in the feature. They get about four legacy lengths on Taylor Lane in third. The Jet with the cross on Cox. He's in the fourth place car. Across the line for the lead. Give it to Colbin Ed on lap one. Bennett with just a little advantage into three. Contact through four. Benacasa pushes up, doesn't lift a little. Bennett keeps it going straight. He'll lead that lap too. This time out of two, give it to the 41, but that 96 is just not ready to give up. 41 pushes up a little again, keeps it off him. Give lap three to Bennett. He looks to clear her out on the back stretch. Can he pull it down into three? Almost can, but it looks like it doesn't matter. He's got her cleared anyway. Bennett, your clear leader. Meanwhile, Hayes, he's up in the fourth position. The Jet, he's looking high. We're looking to make it three wide into turn three. We're three wide, briefly, we'll get it back to two wide. Ryan Hayes, the new third place car. Andy Cahurl, he's already just got in the top five. He wants to make it a string. He's got that car going good. Amazing what a win will do to your confidence. Six laps clicked off. Bennett up to a six tenths of a second lead. Exactly ten times bigger than it was five laps ago. Single file action through the pack. Daniel Harding already up into the seventh position. He's climbed six spots since the green drop. Harding looking low on Cahurl. He gets a nose in. He gets the drop done out of turn two. He's got that little 38 machine rolling good. But up front, it is all Cole Bennett in that 96. That kid ran a 17.169. That is unreal fast in these little cars. Five years ago, that was unheard of. That's picking them up and putting them down right there. Picking them up, putting them down. My spotter used to say that to me all the time. I thought I was the only one that heard it. <laughs> Bennett up to a 10 pro stock advantage or a 24 cylinder pro advantage. Which equivalents to about 1.6 seconds. Now up to 1.8 seconds. That was a good lap for him. 
Yeah, 17 creeping up on the 41 now. Nicole Benicasa with a rear view mirror full of Ryan Hayes. It's amazing, when you get a little bit of competition behind you, your lap times will drop by a second just because you cannot run the comfortable line you want to run. The guy behind you just takes away everything you want to do. Because sometimes you can't just run the bottom groove around the whole track. You can try to do that, but you square the corners off, you push up in the middle. In order to not push up in the middle, you're going to scrub all your speed so that you slow down. And next thing you know, the leaders have to track ahead of you. But you don't have pressure behind you. You can open up the track a little bit, run it wide, build some momentum, and not watch the leader walk away. Yeah, Cole Burnett doing a great job. Young man out of Lyman, really pulling out that lead right now. Still single file through the pack. We do have a car off turn two. I believe that's Jet Decker. Is that the Jet? No, the Jet's coming out of turn four. Is that the 117? No, that's the 26. That's Garrett McKee in turn two. And, that's and the yellow bring, will fly. That's gonna bring us to a stop here. Probably good news for Nicole Benacasa and Ryan Hayes. Pace car is off. Nate sent it with the green flag. We're back racing off into turn one. Give the advantage to Bennett down the back stretch. Hayes looking for second place. The Jet looking to sneak in for third. Taylor Lane just trying to hold on to the top five. Girl wants to take it away. Still a strong showing for that 70 machine after another big hit for her two weeks ago. That poor girl's taking more big hits in that car that weren't her fault. Bennett just extending that lead lap after lap, but now he's got Hayes. Decker up into third. Bennett's not extending that lead as fast as he did last time, but still with a comfortable six car length advantage. Give it about 0 .740 is the difference at the line. Seven to go for Cole Burnett. Can he make it three on the season? The way he's running, I think he can get it done. Hayes just a whisker quicker right now. Give that lap to Burnett though. I think Hayes may be running out of time. Six laps to go. Eight tenths a second advantage for Burnett. He needs to be two tenths of a second faster. That lap to Bennett, he's up to a second with just five remaining. Meanwhile, Benicas is putting the pressure on Decker for third. She backs off into three. Harding lost a little bit of ground. He's looking to gain it back on the back stretch on the outside. Three to go for Cole Bennett. Up to a 1.3 second lead. Look for just a moment like the 41 had a fender on the 01, but had to back out of it. She knows there's only two laps to go in this race. She knows there's a trophy on the line. Jet knows, oh, we have a little bit of contact out of four. She's looking low for everything she's got. Jet shuts the door. Cajero looks to capitalize. The pack behind them is catching up. They want in on the action. White flag's going to wave for Cole Burnett. She should be able to coast easily to their victory. The battle is for third. Third, fourth, and fifth. You can throw a blanket over these guys. Six is joining the battle. Down the back stretch, Benicasi gets a run. She looks high. Changes the mind, crosses up, looks to come low out of four. She can't quite get it done. Looking low one last time. Give it to Jet. Cole Bennett, Ryan Hayes, Jet Decky, your top three, Nicole Benicasa, fourth, Andy Carroll, fifth. Cole, no stranger to coming down here in victory lane, buddy. Dominant day, dominant performance. You had a restart you had to deal with. You 
literally just picked up last, put him down at the end of the race, you're still the fastest car out there, man. Tell me, what is it like to be driving? You're having all kinds of success in this car at a young age. What's it like? I don't know. I never thought I would have three wins. Didn't even think I would have a win this year. Yeah, well, you don't think you're going to have one. Now you got the most in the entire division, and you're right in the battle for the championship, kid. Is there anybody you got to thank? Parents, sponsors, grandparents, a fan club over here? Uh, my dad, Vinny, Jen, my sister, uh, my baby sister, Bailey, and Ron. And then mainly transmissions, Seacoast RVs, Champion Auto Body. That's what he's got for you. I tell you what, I think this kid's going to be showing up in this victory in a Ryan lot of Hayes, times. The 17 machine parked back here, another top three. You, you're pretty fast. You come up through the pack, had a good heat race, but Bennett was just fast. Tell us, man, what's it like when you got to try to race and try to catch up to something turning ones? Yeah, no, he, he was quick. Um, you know, working your way up through the field, it, you use up a little bit more. So then when I got up there, I, I kind of stayed behind Nicole because I knew – I had a feeling there was going to be a caution before the end of the race, and I figured that would put me third, so um, I'd be in a good spot to maybe make a run at the end. But, um, yeah, I just didn't have anything for him. He had, he had a fast car. Um, thanks to all the fans, Wisconsin Speedway, all the staff, um, my wife, my daughter. She's here. She's come to every race so far, so it's uh, good to have her here. Uh, LL Pico and Mr. Peasley, DR Flag and Son Trucking, and Cam Auto and Parts. And, uh, again, all the, all the fans that... Toughs it out today. I know there's some rain, but, uh, yeah, good night for racing. Definitely is, man. Great performance by Ryan Hayes. Another top three to his career record. And in third, once again, the point leader, the Jet Decker. Tell us, man, another top three. The car's going good. You had a really tough battle with Benacasa in the last couple laps, but you just never faltered. Ran the line you had to run. Had a little bit of contact. Had a, Held on to everything she gave you. Well, how was your race out there? Yeah, yeah. Um for a while there, I was running a fifth. I didn't think we'd have any more of that. Then that caution came out. Bottom was working, so we passed some cars. And then uh, once, once we were in third, I knew I couldn't catch you guys in front of me, so I just kept it on the bottom. I was practically stopping the thing in the middle of the corner just to be on the bottom because I knew she had really, really good drive off and stick her nose in there. So I was just everything I had was to keep it on the bottom. Yeah, that's what you got to do sometimes. Like he said, you just got to kind of pinch the car in the center so you don't wash up, open up the bottom of the track. Then you can kind of cross, pinch the curb on exit, and get that big run out. Uh, any sponsors you got to think? There's got to be some on this car. I see all kinds of stickers, parents, family. What do you got? RB Performance, GCA Logging, Randy Keach Auto, Palmer Repair Technology, Home Auto Group, Line X of Farmington, my dad, uh, my grandfather, Justin, who always come out here and, and uh, help us out, or is my team, actually. I wrote that wrong. And uh, my mother and grandmother came out here today. All right. Jeff Decker, he ran third place today, your point leader. He's looking to finish the year strong, get his first championship in the division.